from each of our, our backgrounds as to, uh, as to what, uh, what we feel is affecting Macquarie Park and its future right now, um, hopefully. I can click this forward, maybe I can't. Um, Connect Macquarie Park is something that, uh, that we've been working on for a very long time now and I'm very proud to uh, continue to be the chair of Connect along with many of our board members who are here today. Uh, Connect was a concept that came about in 2010 uh, it's a long, long time ago now, and it took about a year or two to get off the ground, uh, looking at the needs of businesses in the park. And the one thing that every business told us was that transport was their number one issue. It still is today, but I'm very glad to say that we are shifting the needle on what that is. And what Connect was about was forming a partnership between government, both state, state and local, uh, with businesses and local institutions, uh, with a vision that we would work together to resolve transport issues in Macquarie Park in the medium term. Connect has a vision of being uh, an innovative partnership now, broadening our transport solutions for local businesses. Uh, it's the only transport association in Australia that's still functioning, uh, but as we're seeing now in a lot of the reviews, not only are we functioning, but we're actually exceeding many of the overseas uh, transport associations in terms of our membership, our growth, our financial success, uh, and, and our achievements. So that's really fantastic piece for us. Um, one of the things that I would like to stress, however, is that the Connect came about a long time before uh, the Metro Railway was ever conceived uh, or, or announced. Uh, and if you look at the overall puzzle about what the future of Macquarie Park is, uh, you need to, a number of factors need to work together. And so major infrastructure like the metros, like bus lanes and, and train lines is really, really important and critical. But on their own, and it's not going to resolve Macquarie Park's transport future. You actually need to combine a number of factors, which also includes, as you can see on this slide, emerging technologies, which we'll mention and talk about today, uh, and also travel demand management. It's what Connect is all about. It's also what NARG and the Travel Choices team have been rolling out ahead of the, the metro and then the shutdown service uh, coming through the station link. Um, all those things working together is actually what leads to a healthy, healthy future for Macquarie Park, and that's what Connect is all about. The good thing is, uh, what we've been doing is working. Our members have grown dramatically over time from five business members uh, with two government partners in 2013 to now 23 business members uh, and uh, still with our fantastic government partners. Um, that means that over half of the whole of Macquarie Park is now covered by a Connect membership for their organisation. Uh, and from a financial point of view, it also means that Connect is now self-sustaining uh, in, uh, in terms of its finances as well. We, we aim for equal third partnerships and we've actually got to a position where um, well over half of our funding is now coming from our business members, which speaks well to the, the organisation's long-term role in Macquarie Park. Uh, once we get through the rail shutdown and then into the met new world of metro, there'll still be a valid role for, for Connect uh, in terms of influencing it, its travel choices and, and uh, improving traffic flow in the park. Um, what does this mean in terms of real, real evidence of what we've done? You can see here, 2011, when Connect was just coming into existence, um, our member businesses represented vaguely what the park was. So you see there's 74% was a census figure for people driving on their own to work. 73% uh, for our businesses. Look at that over time. 2016, we managed to get that score down to 56% for Connect members versus 69% for other businesses. And this is this is proof in the pudding, really, of how working with employers, communications and engagement <coughs> programs, and introduction of new and innovative services in our workplaces actually does shift the needle. And if you think about uh, when we look at um, school holidays or even university break. Just taking 5 or 10% of the cars off the road in Macquarie Park is actually what makes a big difference. It suddenly makes everything flow. So if you think about what our members have done so far, that's a, a huge journey towards abating that congestion that otherwise would be there. So really positive story from our members. What's coming up? Uh, Cohop, uh, our existing rideshare program, has now been relaunched into an online app. Now this is, this is talking about emergency, emerging technologies for the future. Uh, this puts Cohop right in your pocket. Um, and it also gives you the ability now not only to connect with people en route to or where you're going or living, uh, but it allows you to do it on a more ad hoc basis than before. So making that service far more accessible, making sharing a ride to work with another um, Connect member easier than ever. And again, if you can get 5 to 10% of your workforce uh, out of driving on their own, think about how many cars that's going to take off the road. Accelerating flexible work has been a huge thing that we've done as well and working with Juggle Strategies and Maya and the team um, we've managed to partner with um, well, 
we've managed to roll out flexible working to six of our key members uh, through, a, through this partnership with Juggle, which has been great. But on a remote working hub basis, we've also partnered with co-working hubs across Sydney and done some fantastic trials with them in terms of uh, getting our um, employees in Macquarie Park being able to work remotely as well as part of their travel mix. What's happening in the future of Mutual Park Mobility? Uh, Connect is currently working uh, with our members, with the City of Ryde and, and many transport planners on looking at uh, a feasibility study for a shuttle service during the middle of the day. Everyone keeps talking about this need to connect the park to build bridges through the park. Um, we're looking at what options might exist. And there's a lot of people also running shuttles in the middle of the day already. How can we harness that together and, and come up with a sustainable solution to get people around the park in the middle of the day? And of course, the other thing that another big trend that's evolving, I won't go to on-demand buses because that's Sue's area, but um, micro mobility. Uh, we saw a bit of a disaster with the, the bike share bikes all over the world stacked up, lying in rivers, all those sort of things. Um, there is a new wave coming that is moving beyond that. And what we're seeing now is a technology, te technology enabled. Uh, options around scooters, they're absolutely going nuts in America at the moment. Um, more technology enabled bikes, these ones can't be as easily disposed of <laughs> or abandoned, they've, they've got geo locking in them, but that whole new wave of technology uh, is, is about to hit and the last mile really is important in terms of how we get people to and from the train stations uh, to make those, those journeys a lot easier. So these are some of the trends that the Connect's looking at and some of the things that we hope that we'll be seeing uh, roll out in Macquarie Park in the near future. Over to you, sir. Okay.